I'm Dr. Sumana Kola Ramachandra, working as a Chief of Liver Transplant and Consultant HBB Surgery at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Yashwantur. Liver transplantation is a standard of care for patients with end-stage liver disease. End-stage liver disease is caused due to multiple reasons and some of them are alcohol, uh, viral infections like hepatitis C and hepatitis B and you can have non-alcoholic steatohepatitis that means patients who have long-term diabetes or hypertension or obesity can have end-stage liver disease. The other forms of end-stage liver disease could be something called a cryptogenic where there is no reason identified but they still have end-stage liver disease because of unknown reasons. And in children, the end-stage liver disease could be due to biliary atresia, that is, uh, there is absence of biliary system in, during childhood or in immediately after birth. And there can be metabolic disorders which leads to end-stage liver disease in children. So these are all the diseases which actually causes uh, cirrhosis of the liver. That means the liver becomes hard and it loses its function. So it reaches the stage of end-stage. So the, then not all patients who have end-stage liver disease end up needing liver transplant. So what we do in such patients is patients who have cirrhosis but who are not symptomatic or patients who have cirrhosis and are well compensated actually do not need a liver transplant. Only patients who have had cirrhosis and they start having ascites or which is uncontrolled with the use of diuretics or patients who have jaundice or hepatic encephalopathy. That means the patients start having drowsiness or this can be so severe that they can go into coma. This is another form of decompensation. Or they can have bleeding either through upper GI or the lower GI system. Or they can have individual organs affected because of liver disease like the lungs can get affected or the heart can get affected because of end-stage liver disease. That means the complications arising due to cirrhosis what are the indications for actually liver transplant. So this is actually classified into childs A, B, C depending on the symptoms and their the blood tests that we do in these individuals. Childs A patients generally don't need a liver transplant unless they have a hepatocellular carcinoma. That means these patients who have end-stage liver disease have a higher risk of developing cancer in their liver and patients who have liver cancer and cirrhosis in the background will need a liver transplant. And in the next two groups, that is child B and C, the early child B can be managed medically, but once they reach child's, the child's CTP8 and above, then these are the patients who need liver transplant.